today I'm going to show you how to make the tomato feta pasta salad. It's a very tasty pasta salad that you will be uh, making to share with the class, um, depending on who's assigned to this. So um, the first thing you're going to do, and you're going to have to uh, divide up tasks depending on who you're assigned to work on this with. Um, you, you need to make the pasta, and then you're going to make a dressing, and then you're going to also be prepping toppings or garnishes for this pasta salad. So the first thing you'll do is you'll, and I've already done it, bring to a boil a big stock pot of water, and then you are going to put in a full box of a pound of this pasta, and this is cavatelli, so it's like a circular kind of fun shape. Um, and we like to use this kind of pasta just because it looks more visually pleasing. It's nice hearty pasta, opposed to just using traditional like rotini or something. This is like stepping it up a notch from your traditional pasta salad. So I've already brought this to a boil. I cooked it. It's all nice and soft al dente. Put it in a half sheet pan. You need to get it cold. Okay? So not, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get our dressing ready. Because you'll want to make your dressing, mix it with your pasta, and then incorporate a couple other flavors and toppings. So you're going to make your dressing in a blender. You can use a food processor, whatever is available. And I've gotten mostly everything ready, okay? The only thing I've not gotten ready is I haven't finished the garlic. But essentially in this, we're going to be, it's like a salad dressing is what you're making. We have um, olive oil, and it says in the recipe to use like a good olive oil, so extra virgin olive oil is probably one of the better ones. It has a lot of flavor. Um, don't use vegetable oil, it's not going to be as flavorful. Red wine vinegar, so I have that already in here. Salt and pepper. We're going to be adding capers, and a lot of times students will see this and think, ew, I don't like it. This is what's going to add some saltiness and flavor to this, and it's going to get all blended up, so you won't even know it's there. Just like when you make Caesar salad dressing, it has anchovies. You don't even know it's there, it's for flavor. And then also what's in this it is sun-dried tomatoes, and it's in an oil, okay? So we can purchase this right at the grocery store in oil. It's going to get all blended up. If you cannot find this or if your teacher does not have this, this is also fine. It's just dried. It's not in oil. It will be fine because you blend it up in oil anyway. So the recipe says in oil. This is better, but this would be fine, okay? I'm going to combine that with six cloves of garlic. So I have six cloves of garlic, and it's going to get... Uh, pureed in, in the blender, but you still need to have it somewhat chopped. So just a quick recap. You have a clove of garlic. You're just going to smash it, and then you're just going to take it out of its peel, and you're just going to give it just a rough chop. Put it in the garbage bowl, and just give it a rough chop, because it is, you don't need to spend a lot of time on this, because it is going to get blended. Okay, so let's combine everything in here. If you are doing larger portion of this, you can't put everything in here at the same time or else you'll have too much uh, dressing and it will go everywhere. So this is the perfect amount to be blended in here, but if you were going to increase your recipe yield, you're going to have to blend the dressing in batches. Okay, so put the half cup of the sun-dried tomatoes in oil, our capers, salt and pepper. Put it right on, and then we are going to go to, I would say, do sauce, dips, dressings, batters. And you're just going to let it blend until it stops. So we'll be right back. So we're back, and our dressing is all done, nice and smooth. It might still have some chunks in it, and that's totally fine, just as long as it's a, you know, a pretty consistent consistency. So you can still see there's some chunks of stuff, not huge. You're just going to pour all of that right on top. And because pasta is a starch, it's, initially it's just like going to coat it, but as it sits, the dressing kind of is absorbed by the pasta. So this, you know, initially in class, if you were able to do this day one and then put this in the refrigerator overnight, it's going to have a lot more flavor the next day. So if you were to make this for a catering event, a lot of times I we like to have the students make the pasta, put the dressing on, let it sit, and then put the toppings and garnishes on on day, you know, the day we're going to serve it, because it's going to be a lot more flavorful. You just want to make sure that that dressing's evenly distributed, like so. Okay, so we're good to go there. 
And then what we're going to do is we need to mix in some, mi some stuff inside the pasta and then we'll put the garnish on. So the topping, or I'm, I'm, excuse me, the stuff that you're gonna mix in is gonna be Roma tomatoes, okay? So I'm gonna just review from Cuisine Chef how to cut that. Some salt, um, a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna put in some more sun-dried tomatoes. We're just not gonna puree them. Okay, so let me put this off to the side. So let's just recap how to cut your tomato. So you cut it in half after they've been cleaned. Okay, always have your garbage bowl on the side. Take out the center, because you just want the outside. Just like when you made the salsa in Cuisine Chef. Okay, take out that. Next one. And this recipe that you're gonna make in class calls for three Roma tomatoes. And they need to be cut brunoise or small dice. And then you're going to cut your julienne, just like so. And you want them pretty small. You don't want big chunks of them. Okay. And a lot of times students are like, I don't like tomato. With the dressing, this actually takes on really good flavor. And it adds a nice texture and bite crunch to your pasta salad. Okay. And then you're just going to go through, cube them up, your brunoise. Okay, just like so. I'm going to put this in here. I'm just going to mix all this stuff together before I add it to the pasta, just so there's no chunks of salt. So as I said, there's salt, a little bit of olive oil, and then the tomato. Okay, so now we're going to take this and kind of just mix this all in. And then this has feta, and this is calls for four ounces, which is the entire container. And feta will break. You could chop it up a little more. You can buy it in full, uh, like it comes in a block, and you can chop it. This one's pre-crumbled. Mix this in. And feta cheese is a soft cheese. It has a little bit of saltiness to it. You either people like it or you don't, so taste it first. If someone in the group doesn't like it, maybe just don't add as much or, you know, separate some out before you add in the feta. Okay? And then you're going to top it, your garnish. With a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And this is just the topping, so you're not going to actually mix this in. One cup is what it calls for, and then a cup of your parsley. Kind of mix up that topping of cheese and parsley so it's not all. And then a little bit of the sun-dried tomatoes, and these are julienne cut, so you're just going to want to chop these up a little bit, because then people know, okay, this is what's in there, that's why you want it a little bit more as your topping, like so. So it's nice and colorful, fresh, and ready to serve, enjoy.